Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another crypto video. And today I'm in a little bit of a mood of a I told you so. I've been screaming for the last couple of days very loud at my screen telling every single person that XRP is an extremely good opportunity right now. I've been streaming this time and time and time again for the last three days. I mostly based it on the RSI, which I told you guys, every single time it goes below the 30 mark, it is so juicy to pick this coin up. We also saw that we had a nice bouncer at the bottom of the uh, I guess the bottom trend line here or the bottom of this little triangle, I told every single person our next target for XRP is right here at about 94.1 cents. Check back the videos. We've been screaming this for a little while. Look at our trade now. Our trade, which was about $20,000 worth of XRP right now is in $3,500 worth of profit. Could have had a little bit more if I actually sold at the top here at about 93 cents a couple of hours ago. But this shows you guys that over on this channel, we don't mess around. You might look at this other Ethereum trader at the bottom and think, what is going on? Only a little bit of profit. Remember, we only put in $200 and we got back 170 So we basically doubled our money on this trade too. With the XRP, we used $2,000 to trade with about 25,000 XRP, which right now is in $3,500 worth of profit within the last week or so. I'm not even sure when we opened this trade a couple of days ago. There's a couple different instances this week where I told you all that buying right now is a juicy, juicy opportunity. And again, even though none of this stuff is financial advice, you should probably listen to exactly what I base these things on to basically learn about this for the future. Like, for example, one of the demand zones for XRP here, I told you all before already, we had a nice little bounce here once. Or basically, it used to be a nice little support slash resistance in the past. We came back to this area, one bounce, right? Second bounce, third bounce, and now the fourth bounce. If you're not buying at a point like that, guys, it's, it's, it's madness, right? And so right now, we just kept continuing on where I even said right here, because I believe that that's also where the RSI was, again, still at low territory. Yeah, the sixth. I told you guys all, let's get in. So... What is the plan right now? Well, today we can actually watch exactly how it's gonna correct and come back down. Like, is it gonna come back down to like the most early resistance slash support that we can find at about 78 or 77, 87, sorry, I cannot even speak, 87.4 cents. Is it gonna come all the way back down here to the more important support? This is a bigger mark here, all the way back at about uh, 85 cents, let's say. It's gonna be difficult to, to really uh, see that through because we're not exactly sure which of the factors pushed it. We do know that we found some resistance here at the level which we pre-specified. And I told you guys all, if we get over it, I'm gonna be opening some crazy long positions. But for right now, since we bounced upon it, we cannot open those long positions which I wanted. And since right now we are back from this lowest RSI, it's also a little bit more difficult for me to open up a long position right now. So we're gonna to have to wait for XP to basically find some sort of balance. We can clearly see that over the short term here, we have a little bit of a downtrend that's right now potentially gonna get broken. I would definitely like to see that. But we're gonna to have to watch and see exactly how we're gonna to close today. If we, for example, see a really bullish close above this little downward sloping trend line, I'm gonna basically wait a little bit for XRP to actually make a confirming move the next day, and then we can again go along. I would prefer if the XRP price basically looked like this. First green candle with the second green candle, even above the 94 cent mark. That would be so extremely bullish, that would be really nice. However, it also depends on the news about crypto this Friday, which is gonna be coming out tomorrow, as I've said before. I think that's also why some of these crypto prices are going down in anticipation of tomorrow, like I've been explaining for the last couple of days here. And also the XRP price specifically might be doing good, partially because it was just a juicy opportunity, was extremely undervalued, and I've been screaming that. But it could also be because of things like what Charles has been saying over on Twitter. Breaking. As of today, the official position of the SEC appears to be that the agency has made no official pronouncement on the status of Bitcoin and Ether as to whether they are or are not unregulated securities. By the way, guys, make sure you check out the link down below for Bybit. That's the exchange I used to trade. You can see this we opened together during our live streams. I opened this literally five minutes before I went to live stream because, well, that was the day that crypto was basically doing really, really crazy right here. Uh, and I went to live stream, but I first was like, oh my days, I gotta open a long position as quickly as I can. Unfortunately, I did not get in, get in as cheap as I would have liked because I was a little bit late to the party. But still, it might have not even... Yeah, I think it was this dip, right? This is the big dip. Yeah, it was right there. Like 
somewhere within this state. Okay, sorry. So it appears to be that the agency has made no official pronouncement on the status of Bitcoin and Ether as to whether they are or are not unregulated securities. Core documents show, pretty amazing, that the commission holds the view and that Bill Hinman's 2018 characterization of Bitcoin and Ether was not fi- oh, message not official SEC position in federal court as it argues that the Ripple slash XRP case Meanwhile, in a separate enforcement action, March 2020, the SEC stated that the commission has also publicly recognized Ethereum and its native currency, Ether. C. William Hinman, Director, Division of Corporation Finance Digital. Um, let me see here. Let me put the phone away. Sometimes I get distracted. Corporation Finance Digital Asset Transactions when Howie met Gary Plastic. So bizarre. Meaning, they don't know what the freak in the world they're doing. Because at one part, they've said before Ethereum is fine. And another night right now, they're saying, no, we've never made an announcement on whether or not it's fine or not. Uh, some guys like William Him and Jay Clayton are very bullish on Ethereum, saying it's fine. Then again, Gary Gensler is very negative on the situation. It leaves us wondering. But that's one part where people might get excited about. I've seen a ton of people actually congratulate today as well. One of the senators, uh, one of the guys, maybe representatives, they've been they've been really saluting him today, but I'm not exactly sure who that is anymore. Um, oh, it, it is, I believe, yeah, it, it is him. I believe so. There was a hearing today, huh? We'll, we'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, Jeremy Hogan also shared this. Attorney Solomon from Rippleside spitting fire once again. The SEC cannot have it both ways. If the Hinman speech was not a communication of agency policy, then any deliberation regarding the speech is not entitled to any DPP protection. And what that refers to right now, guys, is in the lawsuit between Ripple and the SEC, one of the most integral parts is whether or not Ripple has, um, is it basically entitled to information regarding the SEC internally. However, they claim it's privileged because the speech that William Hinman gave back in 2018, which they use as kind of like a guideline, was an own personal opinion. And so it cannot be used in court. Let's put it like that. However, Jeremy Hogan right now is kind of concluding here that a couple of the statements which you're putting out right now might showcase that the privilege which the SEC claims cannot actually be used for this specific uh, situation. Um, and that may be the phrase that wins the day for Ripple, because if, again, this is the case, if the DPP cannot be used, Ripple gets those documents and they might actually you know, get some really crazy uh, headway off of that. Let's see. Crypto executives defend industry as Congress considers oversight. Company officials say at hearing that digital assets wouldn't easily be regulated on the existing financial rules. The industry has the potential to improve a lot of people's lives, said Sam Bankman fried um, Very nice. Um, let's see here real quick. So I should have actually gotten through this article a little bit better than I've just seen a couple of people actually applaud them. And I want to actually spend some more time on this a little bit later, as I also want to dive deeper into exactly the different pieces of information that were dropped in this lawsuit as I believe two or three documents came out and I've been checking them out, but um, I haven't really finished them just quite yet. So I can also not give you guys the update just yet. I need to wait a couple of hours to kind of go through everything, get all my pieces together and then give you guys a full update. But just so you guys are all on the same line here, James Fillon shared a couple of new things. Let's quickly check out his Twitter to fully grasp the situation. He shared over on his Twitter. Uh, let's see, what was the first thing? Okay, so the first thing he was sharing was this Wall Street Journal article about this morning's hearing, right? which is a big thing. A lot of people are really praising him for something. Uh, then a little bit later, he shared the SEC files a supplemental briefing regarding the deliberative process privilege. So there's little, two little documents. We're going to talk about that later. And then also Ripple files a supplemental briefing regarding the deliberative process privilege. And that's, again, as we've stated before, they had until the 8th of December to file this letter to basically talk again about how um, they think, honestly, that this new law that got into place affects them now and how they can kind of back themselves up properly yet again. And so we're going to, of course, have to kind of go through and, and check out to see if there's any part that that's basically changed. And again, the conclusion is already kind of set in stone here. It might really be a lot nicer for Ripple than we uh, anticipated. But he's saying he's going to read them both a little bit later. Hey, Jeremy, what is your take on how Judge Nepper is going to rule after reading the epic statement from lawyer Solomon? And he said, I'm reading them both tonight and will tweet tomorrow. So I'm going to also check back a little bit later to see if he's written anything out here. Because um, we don't know just quite yet. And again, guys, I, uh, I do my best to kind of guide through all this law stuff. But I'm not a lawyer, not a financial advisor. So all I can do is just my best to get you guys all this information. Right now, we're watching the XRP chart like freaking hawks. It's funny, though, that it was actually one of the best performances. It's also up 7% against Bitcoin right now. Very, very nice. And it actually broke out of the short-term little resistance that we've actually seen. Also very nice for XP to see. 
You can even see in terms of RSI, guys, I keep telling you, RSI is actually one of the best indicators to use. Um, it's actually one of the only ones I think that's that, that's really standing for something because I normally actually only go for support and resistances. In this case here, I, I would say that the uh, RSI is also one of the best ones. This is, by the way, how it's looking. Right now, we got a nice little breakout on the XP to BTC pair, hoping for some confirmation over the next day or so. As long as XP keeps outperforming Bitcoin, we're going to see that. It's going to be another beautiful, beautiful trade or at least beautiful price movement towards the upside because uh, that's basically what we want to see XRP right now. A lot of people have been mocking XRP, but we're sticking with it, and it's making us a juicy amount of money. So once more, guys, check out the link down below for buy, but there's a couple of cool bonuses that you might want to check out. And I'll see you guys again in another crypto video later today. Juicy, juicy profits. Juicy profits.